welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're doing the pumpkin mask, pumpkin face, half pumpkin face type of thing. I look a little crazy right now because one brow is filled in clearly and one is not. So this is going to be the side of my face that is getting the makeup on and then this will be the side with the face paint. This is a really good look if you're just looking for something last minute. All you need to do is have two or three different face paint colors or you can use eyeshadows instead of face paint and you can just work with the makeup you have. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm starting off with the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. This is just a beauty oil that is super moisturizing and hydrating for your skin. So I'm only going to be putting this on the half that my makeup is going on because I have extremely dry skin. However, the face paints tend to look a little bit greasy on my skin, so I'm not going to apply it on the half that the face paint is going on, but I am just going to add it to where I'm putting makeup so that it looks even throughout. I'm also just going to put it on my lips. For foundation, I'm just going to be mixing two. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer, and this is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I love this one. I love the formula so incredibly much. However, it's just a little bit too orangey pink for my skin tone. So I like to mix just a little bit of this one in with it. Just blending it in with a flat top buffing brush. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape just because I want this half of my face to be snatched. Just blend that in with the Beauty Blender. For powder foundation, I'm going to be using this. This is the Photo Bomb by The Bomb Cosmetics. And I actually am going to apply this powder all over this side of my face just so that it is a flat, even surface because my skin is dry and patchy in some areas. So I want it to be as evenly surfaced as possible for the face paint to sit on. So I'm actually going to take a little bit of this foundation and put it on this brow just to cover up the darkness a little bit. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we're gonna try. Just to make the brows a little less dark. Yeah, that's better. For bronzing up the face, I'm going to be using the Hoola Benefit, a tried and true. And I'm just using this large bronzing brush from Marc Jacobs. And then I'm actually just going to take a little bit more of this bronzer using my Morphe M441 brush. And I'm just going to lightly dust that in the crease area just to add a little bit of something to the eye. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Tarte Tardis Double Take Eyeliner. For a lash, I'm going to be using the Lily Lashes in Tees. Now just a heads up, these are going to be really, really, really bold and crazy, but it's all that I have right now, so that's what we're working with. Because these lashes are so extremely thick and long and crazy and I should have trimmed them, I'm going to actually just take this bronzer one more time and drag it along the lower lash line just to sort of even out the eye so it doesn't look so crazy. For mascara, I'm just going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise to blend the lashes together. And lastly for highlight, I'm using the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. And then I'm just going to take my pinky finger and pop a little bit of that highlight in the inner corner. Now, for the fun side, to trace out the cracks, I'm just going to be using the NYX liquid eyeliner. This is the matte one. And I'm just going to wing it and start mapping out the edges. Now, this is where it gets fun because you can totally personalize it however you want. You can do as many cracks as you want. But I do recommend when you're first starting off to maybe only do larger cracks and not so many detailed ones because this is my first time doing this as well and black is kind of really hard to erase if you make a mistake so the fewer cracks the better in my opinion. I am going to try switching back to this eyeliner just to see if I can be a little bit more precise because I don't know if you can tell but this is kind of a struggle using that eyeliner. It's okay if you get messy with this. 
this because you can just touch up the black at the end when you're finished. Okay, now taking the orange paint from this Nazaru face palette, I'm just going to apply that all over. Now, take your time with this. Slow and steady always wins the race when it comes to face paint because you want the best, most even coverage you can get. You don't want the paint to be sliding around and you can always build up more later on if you need to. Now I'm just taking a smaller brush to really get into the small spaces. Now taking the Makeup Forever Flash Palette, I'm just going to be using a little bit of this brown shade to sort of add the lines, add some depth and dimension to it, make it a little bit more 3D. I kind of look like a basketball right now. <laughs> no? Then using the orange and white paint, I'm just going to mix a little bit to make it a little bit lighter orange, and I'm going to use that to highlight areas. I'm just blending it out with my fingers. I feel like using my fingers will give me like the most seamless blend. Now taking this brush that has no product on it, I'm just going to use it to slightly blend out the brown lines so they're not so harsh. Great, now we're just going to move on and fill in the black spots. So for the lips, I'm going to be using the Kylie Lip Kit. This is Dark of Night, Dead of Night, Dead of Night. Yes, Dead of Night. And I'm just going to be using that on the lips portion because this face paint really doesn't do that well. It really doesn't last that long on your lips, in my opinion. So I'm just going to use this because it's matte and that'll ensure that it stays all night long. If you're looking for a black lipstick for a Halloween tutorial or just to wear any time of the year, um, this is actually a really great option. Black lipstick is really, really hard to get right and this one is not patchy as you can see. This is one layer and it's full coverage. There's no splotches or anything like that so this is an incredible lipstick. Now I'm going to go in and fill in the rest with the black face paint. So lastly, I'm just going to take this really fine, precise brush and touch up all the black lines all over so it's really sharp. I'm going to take this from the Morphe palette. This is just the darkest matte black shade. And I'm just going to apply that on top of the black paint just to ensure that it stays set. Lastly, I'm just going to take that yellow face paint again and very lightly drag it along the inside center of the brown lines because the brown lines are technically the openings of the pumpkin. So that's what I'm going to do. This is your finished pumpkin. It is a bit time consuming, I will admit, but I think it's totally worth it. I think it turned out so, so cool. Definitely be sure to put the black powder on top of the paint so that way it ensures it stays all night long while you're out doing your Halloween festivities because you do not want this paint to be smearing all over the place. It won't be pretty, trust me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did with a big thumbs up and also let me know what other Halloween tutorials you'd like to see from me. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm trying to see if we can hit 10K by the end of the year. I think we can, I believe in you guys, but we'll see. And also if you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell down below because that way you'll get notified every single time I post a new video. And that's all I have for you guys today. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay spooky.